Um, my name is Sierra Napper. Um, I'm a junior at Spencer County High School, and um, I'm an FCA leader, and I'm here with my dad, uh, Greg Napper, and TJ Whitaker. Um, and today, uh, we're just making this worship video for you. Um, it's not perfect, and we know it's not perfect, but that's not the point of it. Um, the point is to spread God's love and to spread God's word. Um, so, the whole theme of this week is going and telling. Um, and basically what I just kind of wanted to do um, is to spread the importance of that. Um, I know several people have heard my testimony. Um, you might have heard me talk about my testimony on Monday night, actually, on that video. But um, um, I just think, uh, you know, the biggest calling we have is going and telling. It was the last command that Jesus gave us. Um, and um, I think, you know, the FCA go and tell you it's just a powerful thing um and spreading god's love and spreading um the need for going and telling is such a powerful thing um so i'll tell you a little bit about my testimony not the whole thing but um just a short little summary um so basically um in middle school i was bullied a lot um i had a lot of internal struggles um that went on for a very long time um and on top of that i was diagnosed with migraines um and that just kind of um, put me in an even worse spot than I was mentally before um, and so you know I started falling away from God I started doing all kinds of things um, I started self-harming um, and I was just living a terrible life um, but that's not where it ends obviously um, because um, I ended up going to therapy and later on um, several years passed you know I kept getting help and you know, I kept trying to pursue the Lord even through my struggles, even though, you know, a lot of times that didn't happen or I just couldn't find the strength um, myself. But, um, you know, eventually the Lord came back into my life. Um, he turned my life around. Um, I still have internal struggles. I still have, you know, everything um, that I've dealt with. I still have the migraines and everything. Um, but God changed my life for the better. And, um, I think it's important that we know that God has the power to do that because I know where I was, I wouldn't have been able to pull through myself. Um, God's the one that pulled me through that, and He's the only one that can pull anybody through anything, um, no matter what it is they're going through. Um, I'm two, almost two and a half years clean of self-harm now, so, um, you know, I'm very far off from where I was, very much better. Um, I have a very much stronger relationship with the Lord now. Uh, because of what he's done in my life and I think you know even though this is a very short little summary of what I've been through um, I think it's good to share that just because you know this is my version of how God's impacted my life and I want you guys to see that this is real and that this is now you know God isn't just some person in the Bible 2,000 years ago or Jesus isn't some person in the Bible 2,000 years ago um, God is still working in our lives now and he's still doing things now and we need to realize that and we need to share that because the more we share it the more people are going to be affected by it, and the more people's lives are going to be turned around and pointed towards God, and I think that's an amazing thing. Um, so we have two more songs. Um, let me look up the lyrics again because I'm very forgetful. <laughs> okay.
Every prayer.
had fun uh, worshiping the Lord. I hope you did too. Um, my voice is extremely tired right now, uh, but it's okay because we did it for God, and that's all that matters. So um, share this with everybody you know share all of the other fca videos from this week with everybody you know there's more coming out um later um tomorrow and friday at eight um just go and tell the word go spread the word go share god's love and i'm glad you could join us thank you